What's up, Mario Mario? It's just the Party 8 here. Welcome back for more Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, well, voice crack much. In the last episode, we did Boo Moon Galaxy and Upside Down Galaxy, Upside Dizzy Galaxy, blah. Which was very fun. In this episode, we're gonna go and continue with World 5. But before we do that, we of course. And do another Frank's the Comets, which is back in roll two. The first level we're gonna take down is High Till Falls Galaxy. High Till Falls Speedrun. As you can see, it's a little bit different than the original mission. I guess it's, they decided to make it a little bit harder. And we have three minutes. This is a little bit hard, but I don't find it that difficult compared to the original. It is more difficult than the original, but it's not too bad. Alright, I need to do this mission again, like this. You gotta be careful of the gaps, that's something that's more difficult about this mission. And avoid running over things, I don't know. And you're too slow! Sorry, I have to make that joke. I'm surprised I did not use that joke during this mission, in the original mission. Anyway, I know why I'm so hyperactive with these episodes. <laughs> To be honest, this is probably one of the easier speedruns out there. You have plenty of time to go to the star. Three, t three minutes is, is is way too much for this mission. There we go. Alright, this part is actually pretty tough, and since there's no checkpoint, you gotta be careful not to... Careful not to get hit. Thank you much. Game. Thank you very much, game. God, this game. I don't know why, but this game, is, for some reason, hates me or something. It's like keep getting hit or die in a stupid, in a very stupid way. There we go. go. Alright, final stretch. There we go. Alright, so now we're back in world 5. We're gonna go to the next level of this, of this world, which is this one. Slip Sand Galaxy. Desert level. There aren't that many desert le looking levels in this game. Mission number one Squizzard Sandy Sinkhole. And I love the background of this level. It's so freaking beautiful with all these pillars. It's freaking awesome. Especially for a person who's not grown up in a uh, desert or something. Yeah, I come from a place where it almost always rains, so yeah. Anyway, to avoid these fireballs, we also have this pretty interesting Arabian music. Which is alright, I suppose. Um, this level is pretty challenging. There's only one part of this uh, in this mission that is decently challenging. The rest is pretty simple. <coughs> Gotta watch out for the sand right here. And here we have these pokey hats. They were in the original game as well. They're uh, pretty easy enemies. We're also gonna meet these, this uh, little chicken right here. Uh, you can shoot the star bit and then you can uh, kick him. Or her, or it. And as you can see, they drop bombs. go. Yeah, get the 
Power metal. Wait, there we go. There we go. And fire power. I am fire. I am fire. I I I'm on fire. Yes, I'm. Seriously, that's that's what the song is all about. It's about I'm on fire. Reminds me of another song guy, yeah. Uh, from uh, Sonic Adventure. Which I'm gonna talk about later. Alright, okay. oh, you gotta be careful not to get crushed by these. Because that's instant death. Let's go. Now it's the hard part of this mission. This slide right here. This pyramid, this pyramid really reminds me of that pyramid uh, level in... Uh, or desert level in Super Mario 64. And here we're gonna meet... For some reason a lot of people found, found these enemies really creepy. These are... Rims. I think it's... I don't know what they're called. A lot of people found these enemies creepy, but to be honest, I don't find it that bad. I've seen creepier enemies in Mario games. I find the Tox box in uh, Mario 64 a little bit scarier. But this, these enemies are not that bad. You gotta be careful not to fall down. Okay, there we go. Now let's go to the boss. Dun dun. This is Squizzards. Squidward's old cousin. I don't know. Like seriously, that's the first thing I thought when I first saw this boss. I saw its name. Anyway, when it opens its mouth, it's gonna shoot with fireballs. Do that three times, and that's it. Your firepower is still limited, so you gotta watch out for that. You gotta also watch out for the fetch things that he's thrown at you. There we go. This battle, I used to think, was very tough, but to be honest, I don't find this that one that bad. Anyway, now it's gonna get these machines right here. Which is not really make a difference. He has a big mouth. And that's it. Time to get the star. I said the star. There you go. Mission number two, Sailing the Sandy Seas. Sailing, huh? Kinda reminds me of another walkthrough that I did a few months ago. Everything is brighter, apparently. And everything is going backwards. These sand, these sand thingies are going backwards now. So we're gonna use the platforms this time. Wow, that was brilliant. Okay, let's do better this time. We and jump. We're in the dry bones, there we go. And as you can hear, this is the bonus room music from the original Mario Galaxy. You're supposed to run all the way over there, but you can also do this, I think. Yeah, just like this. Then jump over here, and there we go. Skip a lot of stuff. There we go. Die. This is a very short mission, by in my opinion. So we're already going to the final planet of this level, which is this right here. Danger, don't fall. Yes, that's obvious advice. Anyway, you need to sail this thing. It 
bit. It's really similar to uh, the sand bird level in uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Anyway, these uh, magic Koopas, you can. The advice I'm doing is, is uh, I'm I'm doing is shoot star bits at the magic Koopas, because as you can see, they're trying to destroy every single thing on your ship, which makes it hard to survive. Like this. Go. Oh god. Oh, thank you. I was going to speed up. This fish is not too bad. I just said it, so don't jinx me, game. Like he did many times in the past episodes. Generate. Okay, there we go. There we go. On the final part. With this chain jump. This chain jump will, will follow you. There we go. Long jump to victory. Okay, so now we're done with that level, it's time to go to the Hungry Luma of this, of this world. And it's 1500 star bits, which is totally fine by me. As you can hear in the background music of Starship Mario, the music gets better and better as the game progresses. And I freaking love it. <laughs> Uh, no, let's not do that. Yeah, let's talk to him. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, come on. Oh, come on, eat it. feed him. Feed him! Feed him! Feed him to death! Transform once again. Oh boy, this level Kiss Fleet Glide Galaxy. Oh boy. This oh sorry for the for the microphone right there. Fluzzard's Wild Battlefield Glide. This mission took me a lot of tries as a kid the first time I played through this game. Especially for the common metal of this level. This is one of the hardest common metals to get in the entire game. But we gotta do it. Fluzzard, Fluzzard, he says you're okay and that you can glide with him. Alright, fine, let's glide. This is basically the second one, it's like a Wild Glide Galaxy, except a little bit harder. And here we're gonna meet these enemies right here. Magmars! No, they're not Larks, they're Magmars. Yeah, these enemies right there. Ow, I already got hit, that's a good start. The hard part about this is you have to make a round circle right here. and. That's a great start. Okay, let's do better this time. There we go. You have to make a whole circle in this part. Come on! Yes! Okay, there we go. Because that's a very easy miss gate. Because once again, you need to go through five gates in order to uh, get to Commel in this level. Okay, there we 
go. Oh god. There we go. Left, right, 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 right. Come on. And number five. And yeah, there we go. Oh, two tries, not bad. You flew, you flew, even Fluzzard looks happy. Here, take this star, thanks. And another star. That was actually pretty fast. Okay, the last level we're gonna take, uh, gonna do in this episode is the final level of World Five, Shiverburn Galaxy. This galaxy has a bit of a history. Since since the day this game came out, this galaxy had a bit of a history. Anyway, the mission is Prince Picante's Peppery Mood. There's a really popular scary theory in this game, in this level. It has mostly to do with the background of this level. Hopefully I can find it at a very good spot. I think I know a really good spot where you can actually see it. I think most people already know what I'm talking about. Anyway, but beside that, this level is pretty okay. It's really similar to a uh, Freeze Flame Galaxy from uh, the original Mario Galaxy. Also, it's the exact same music. Which is good because Free, free Splitting Galaxy is one of my favorite levels. And let's make it all ice. Yo, let's skip the pipe for now. Let's go over here. I forgot what the common metal was for this level. I think it's around here somewhere. It's around here somewhere. Oh, God. And oh god, that was way too far. And I probably screwed up. Okay, no. And, ow. Ah, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Okay, let's try again. I have to agree, that was pretty bad. Come on, really? Don't do this like the last episode, please. This level is not as hard as it is. And die. Get get the coin. Get the ah. Oh, I'm dead. I'm 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 dead. I'm. S <sighs> okay, game. Okay, apparently, this game starts to hate me after I. Even though I said that this was my favorite Mario game. Apparently this game doesn't like me. Okay. Oh, there's the combo, okay. There we go, and whoosh. Ah yeah, this place right here. Here we're gonna talk about the theory that I said a little bit earlier. Um, if the camera can... Can we s Wait, I need to go to another place then. Wait, I need to- I'm gonna kill myself right here, cause I want- I really want to show you guys the uh, easter egg in this level, or scary theory. There we go. 
And it's those things over there. I think they're called something hell trees. There's just one problem. If you look closely, there is a Google image of this of this of these guys. And they're definitely not trees, they're more alien looking creatures up there. Which means that this level has something to do with uh with the gate to hell or something, I don't know. So it's pretty interesting theory. I, I heard of this theory like much later than, than it should have been. Like I never really noticed those things up there. I never look up or watch some Easter eggs. Anyway, let's get the, con uh, the health mushroom because I don't trust myself. And ow. Anyway, here we have Oct Octuma, I think it's called. I can kill the my coconuts. Yeah, like that. Three times in a row, okay. Uh, no, let's wait for it. There we go. One jump to victory. Now let's go to the boss. This is Prince Picante, as many people say it's the son of King Caliente from the last game. Anyway, he works the exact same way. Just hit him three times with coconuts and that's it. Alright, he has the, as, uh, shooting fireballs, he can also do this. This, there we go. This, this boss battle is really not that bad. And ow. There we go, now he's gonna shoot three uh, firewalls, there we go. And there we go. That's it. Oh, no speed running tactics, oh well. Like I said, there's a secret mission in this level, so simply select it from the menu again. Skip the intro, yes, yes, yes. Uh, nah, let's not skip the Luigi. Luigi is really useless in this part. There we go. Die. The secret mission is pretty obvious where it is. Oh, come on. I think I already hinted a little bit in the last mission. So. Here. Make it all ice. Let's kick some ice and ow. Ignore the launch star and let's go in here. Now look who it is. Got the time, time to take on the chimp. And this is the exact same as the one from uh, Freezy Flake Galaxy. This time you need to get over 600 points instead of 500. Makes that harder, kinda. Have to be a little bit faster in this one. Ah, dang it. Ah. 
Yes, 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 let's try again. Okay, attempt number two. Maybe because I hit the spikes a little bit too much. Let's do it uh, backwards. Oh, come on! <sighs> Alright, if I fail one more time, I'm just gonna go into cutaway. Because the game hates me for some reason! Okay. Like, what? It was not there before. Okay, come on. Okay, there's no pattern in this. Let's make this also kind of annoying. Get it, get it going. You son of a... Yeah, baby! Thank you. Yeah, shut up. Just give me the star. Thank you. Okay, now that that is done, I think it's a good time to end this episode off, so next time... Oh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'm gonna go finish off World 5 for now. See you guys next time.